You know, uh, there was an era around the 90s, early 2000s, where, like, disaster movies. Let's, let's be honest. Disaster movies are still kind of a really big thing. They've never gone away. People yep. still love their disaster movies. And one of the more fun ones, not Oscar caliber, not one of the greatest, but one of the more fun ones to me was uh, Paxton and Hunt's Twister. Uh, that, that was a fun movie. A little ridiculous in some places, but fun nonetheless. And a little while ago, we heard that there was going to be a Twister sequel, which I thought, I don't know, that's actually going to happen. Well, no, 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 it's happening because the news is now out that not only is a Twister sequel coming, they've got a release date and everything. <laughs> Summer of 2024 is when the Twister sequel is going to come out. I have not heard any official word if Helen Hunt is going to return. Obviously, Bill Paxton cannot. Uh, God, I miss that guy being on screen. Um, no word about whether or not Helen Hunt. But listen, you might think it folly to say, you know, Twister 2, or it's going to be called Twisters, which also sounds like something a bully does to a kid in school. But Twisters <coughs> has some heavyweight Academy-level talent attached to it this is in variety you write the following twisters a sequel to the 1996 disaster epic twister will wreak havoc on movie theaters in the summer of 2024 universal which is backing the film has set twisters to release theatrically on july 19th 2024 against some competition on its current release date twisters will open on the big screen alongside pa uh, paramount's transformers a new generation and one week ahead of marvel's thunderbolts which i've been getting kind of excited about but listen to the talent attached lee isaac chung who steered minari to several oscar nominations is directing twisters the screenplay will be written by mark l smith who co-wrote uh, alejandro irinatu's academy award-winning film the revenant starring leonardo dicaprio these are the people involved in making twisters so I don't know. I, I I don't look at Twisters and think awards bait, but maybe they're approaching this thing. You know what? We can make something really good here. They've certainly got some great talent. Sign me up as being interested in this. Rob, you hear about Twisters. Has a release date. It's a real thing. It's happening. It's a real boy. Well, what I mean, think? unfortunately, with, with how global warming is working, we're seeing in our country the danger that these kinds of storms, it's they they're still here, and we're getting more and more of them. We had an event that happened, what, last week? So it's it's terrifying. So I think for a subject matter, they can definitely make something topical and scary. I mean, remember Twister, the trailer with the what the the cow flying into the. Yeah. I mean that would that that changed trailers for like the next three years. I assume this film is a revenge film for the cow. <laughs> this time it's personal. I'm thinking I'm back. <laughs> Lock up your livestock. Chris, what do you think about this? Are, are you at uh, first? Are, can you believe this is real? And, and are I you interested in this? I do think it's odd to have this because we don't have El Pax and we don't have Philip Seymour Hoffman, who was one of them, too. Yeah, that's true. Um, you know, I, I, we love a disaster movie, though. It's you can you know that people love disasters. It's why we have so much traffic here. People love to slow down and have that schadenfreude moment of seeing what's happened on the other side of the freeway, right? We right. love a good disaster movie. There's something just weirdly. I don't know, barbaric inside all of us that does love to see just mass destruction. So, I mean, there's definitely an audience for it. I just want to know how it's all going to be executed. But with this writing team, ooh, sounds exciting. Now, you're right. The, missing Paxton, Philip Seymour Hoffman, Helen Hunt is still around. But yeah. let's be honest, the star of Twister were the Twisters. Oh, for sure. And the cow. And, and the cow. Yeah. Which I watched that trailer, it was about a year ago or something like that. I remember at the time when that came out, I was like, oh my gosh. But like today's like, that is such bad CGI. <laughs> That is so bad. But I mean, it was a different era. I was going to say for that right. 90s, though, it was like, what? Yeah, for the 90s, yeah. like, was it, it was the, the floor was different, mm -hmm. right? It was different at that time. So I don't know how they are calling it a continuation. So I, I don't know. I don't know if it's Helen Hunt's character is now out for revenge. I don't know if, you know, this is going to be the children of <laughs> Paxton, Helen Hunt, maybe, who picked up in their, their parents' footsteps. It better be. It better damn well be canonical to the first one. I want to make sure it's in it the It sounds Twister like universe. it is. Yeah. It sounds like it is. They're going to set up, and now there's going to be seven spinoffs. Twister's Afterlife. Then they're going to go start chasing <laughs> earthquakes. I mean, it's going to be, I don't know. But whatever. Listen, they've got some heavy-duty talent attached to it, guys. So the question is for you. Are you excited for Twisters? Listen, having had a lot of fun with the first one, with modern visual effects technology, they could do some really, really fun stuff. Anyway, whatever you guys think, jump down into the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. 
Hey guys, we want to take a second and thank one of the sponsors of this video, DraftKings. This time of year, everyone's excited for the holiday spirit, but what about all the basketball? When it's time to throw down on the NBA action, it's got to be with DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NBA. New customers can bet just $5 pregame money line on any NBA team to win their game and get $150 in free bets if they do. Plus, everyone can combine multiple bets for a bigger payout with DraftKings same game parlays. Just download the DraftKings app, use the code CAMPIA, place a $5 pregame money line bet on any NBA team to win, and get $150 in free bets if they do. That's code CAMPIA only at DraftKings Sportsbook. 21 plus in most eligible states, but age varies by jurisdiction. See DraftKings.com Sportsbook for details and state-specific responsible gaming resources. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. In New York, call 877 877- Seven eight Hope NY or text Hope NY four six seven three six nine. Eligibility and deposit restrictions apply. Bonuses issued as free bets. Eligibility in terms at sportsbook.draftkings.com slash basketball terms.